Good afternoon. Today's the 12th of April and it's time for our monthly look at the top 10 best-selling cars of March 2024. March 2024 wasn't quite the recovery that I was expecting to actually see um, in British car sales, or rather UK car sales, but um, I, think it, I think it actually might include Northern Ireland as well, I'm not, not entirely sure, but um, yeah, anyway. Um, it's about 10% up on last year, but we've got to remember that the number of sales in March, or registrations technically is, I use the word interchangeably, um, is only the same level it was in 2009. 2009 was just after a major major economic downfall. It's better than you know other months that have been um, since 2019, although it's it's way 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 down on, on those on those kind of figures. The peak was 2017 when in March um, they almost double the number of cars registered that actually were uh, last month. But uh, yes, yeah, so we'll look at the um, power source mix first, what we always do. So we'll look at the percentage change on uh, March 2023, look at the market share uh, from last year of these power sources, and we'll look at the market share um, last month. So we'll start off with Forbidden Fuel, which we don't talk about on the channel. Thank you, Mayor of London. Um, hopefully, if you do lose your um, position as mayor and someone else gets in, we can get rid of the Arctic Emission Zone and then we can speak about diesel. Right, okay. Um, so, um, not a massive change really, it's about 2.7% um, sort of a change, which is not as much as I thought. I think the decline in the sales has actually slowed because, well, how do we put this? Um, there are too many electric cars and not enough buyers, whereas combustion cars there tend to be um, too few of those and too many buyers. So, um, Last March, about 24,000 were sold. Um, last month, about 23,000. Market share has dropped uh, from 8.3% to 7.3%. And then petrol uh, actually gone up. Um, it's gone up by 9.2%. The market share has actually decreased very slightly because we're up by 10.4% anyway. Um, it's gone from 162,000 to 177,000. Um, and market share is now... 55.7 it was 56.3 um so you can see the percentage change has not keep the market which is why there's been a slight drop in market share uh battery electric vehicles um there has been an increase it's not actually quite as big as you'd imagine um we look at these figures actually the market share has decreased by about one percent um the percentage change of figures is actually is actually plus 3.8 percent so because the market's up um, is actually an overall um, a slight decrease in the market share. So it's gone from 47,000 to 48,000. Um, Plug-in hybrids has actually increased quite a lot for some reason. Uh, the market share was 6.2, it's now 7.7. So just changes um, is actually 37% up. Number of cars sold has gone from 18,000 to 25,000, which is a big increase in the plug-in hybrids for some reason. Hybrid electric car, this is a, a lot of cars now. Um, Hyundai, Kia's, Suzuki's. Um, there's a new MG3 hybrid coming in later this month. Um, so yes, 19.6% um, um, increase in the numbers. Um, we've gone from 37,000 to 45,000 and the market shares increased very slightly from 13% to 14%. Let's now look at um, the um, sales broken down by private fleet and business sector. Business sector is really tiny. Um, it's actually decreased slightly, but it's not significant really. It's gone from about 9,000 cars sold to about 8,000, minus 8%. 8 Market shares dropped from 3 to 2.5%. Bigger is the fleet sector. Um, this is actually, it's actually 57% of the entire market in this country. Uh, just like it used to be, it always used to be like this back in the day. Um, so a lot of the cars you see that have been registered now, um, they're not ones ordered by a dealership or a customer who's private. They are um, bought by companies. Um, it's probably why you see so many of the same model being ordered. Uh, so yeah, 40, 
seven percent to forty sort of fifty-seven percent. Um, change is 30% and it's 140,000 to 181,000. Let's look at now the reason why some of you might have clicked on the video. Some of you just watch it every month, maybe um, that's what you do. Um, some of you might have just clicked on it by accident, but uh, we are now covering the top 10 best selling cars of March 2024. Not really much of a surprise um, for last month. The two top ones are the two top ones today about the top three cars um there's a slightly different permutation if you look at the figures overall for the first quarter of the year but the, the, the top three um they're, they're the same they're the same cars it's a different order uh first is position cash guy about eight thousand nine hundred and then the puma which is actually the best-selling car for this year it makes sense it's best-selling car last year as well then the sportage a very very popular car in this country so puma was eight thousand three hundred sportage is about seven thousand four hundred and fifty fourth is the duke um no trade to the top ten seven thousand three hundred and fifty and the audi a3 um the audi a3 now outsells quite comprehensively everything else in the class including the astra and the focus and the golf uh we like our better commas premium brands in this country even if they are far more common than the normal ones um, which i always find a bit strange uh so yes duke uh 50 a3 6 000 sold the corsa has dropped really far down it used to be like challenging the fiesta when the fiesta was still in production for the uh, best selling car of, of the year but now they're right down um about sort of 5950 seventh is the a class again why do these cars outsell, you know, normal family hatchbacks? It's because they have better residual values, even if they're more common. I think that's the case. Um, yeah, so A, a class, 5,900. 8th is the Golf, 5,600. Uh, Model Y, Tesla Model Y, the ship must have literally come in for those. 5,600. And the MGHS, again, absolutely no surprise whatsoever. Lots of those are sold on motability. It's, it's a perfectly fine car, the MGHS, but having driven about four of them, um, they don't handle the best. They tend to sort of pitch and roll a bit too much for me. Um, we might have a go in the facelift MGHS, actually, at some point this year. That, means, that might be interesting. Uh, so, yeah, bottle Y was 5,600. The HS is 5,400. Let's now compare each individual manufacturer from March 2023 to March 2024. There actually are some big surprises on here for some reason. So we'll start with Abarth. Um, they're doing a lot better than they were. It's probably because they've introduced that new Abarth um, electric model. Um, so it's just changed 147% up. Market share was 0 0.02. It's now 0 0.05. And um, number of cars sold has gone from 62 to 153. Alfa Romeo, other way round. Um, despite the fact that the new, I think it's the vehicle from Milano is coming out soon. Uh, so it changes minus 11, no, sorry, minus 12% it is down. Market share has gone from 0 0.08 to 0 0.06. Number of cars sold has gone from 223 to 196. Alpine had a very good month actually. Um, 90 cars sold, 84% um, increase. Market share has actually gone from 0 0.02 to 0 0.03. Um, last March we only sold 49. Audi, um, who have the A3, of course, in the um, top 10 bestsellers, uh, they've actually decreased slightly. Um, this minus 3%, number of cars sold has gone from 19,000 to 8,000, oh, sorry, 18,500. Um, and the market shares dropped from 6.6 .6 to 5.8. Uh, Bentley, um, not a good month for Bentley. I don't know what's going on with them. 41% um, down. Market shares gone from 0 0.0. 9 to 0 0.05, number of cars sold has gone from 250 to 147. BMW actually that sold Audi. Um, I think that sold um, Ford. Yes, they have. They have. They've outsold Ford. I presume that means they've probably outsold maybe everybody apart from Volkswagen. Let's see. Oh no, Volkswagen have outsold um, BMW. And Mercedes Benz has not sold 19,000 cars. That's amazing. Mercedes, I thought, were going to fail under the agency model. It seems like they're, they're okay. Um, there we are. You don't talk new every day, viewers. So, yeah, BMW. Um, we've got um, here 39% increase. Um, market share has gone from 5% to 6.3. Number of cars sold has gone from 14,500 to 20,000. 
Whoever, whoever said that, like, you know, these premium cars were, you know, rare and desirable, they're, they're common as anything. Um, they're more common than most of the other brands that you know. They're more common than Ford, both of them. Um, build your dreams, BYD. Uh, big increase for them. 34 cars has gone up to um, 759. That's not surprising, really, because um, they've now got three models as opposed to just the one they had last year. Um, 2,132% increase. Market share has gone from 0.01 to 0.24. Um, Citroën, uh, not the best month for them. 9% down. Uh, market share has gone down from 1.9 to 1.5. Number of cars sold has gone from 5,300 to 4,900. Uh, not the best. Cupra, on the other hand, 30 five percent up um gone from 1.03 percent of the market 1.25 number of cars sold has gone from 3,000 to 4,000 uh dacia um again a good month for them 22 percent up um market share has gone from 1.4 to 1.6 number of cars sold has gone from 4,000 to 5,000 day s the opposite um rather like um city mm. and alfa romeo or their friends at Stellantis. um 45% down, number of cars sold has gone from 337 to 184, um, and um, the market share has gone from 0.12 to 0.06. Fiat, um, very steady, <laughs> very steady indeed, 0.5% um, up. Uh, they have gone from 1.2% to the market to 1.1, that's because the market's up by 10% overall. Um, and the um, number of cars sold has remained remarkably similar, about 3,400 in both cases. Fisk has sold 10 cars, wonderful. Um, Ford, not good. Um, having the Fiesta disappear from the range has hurt them to the tune of about 3,500 sales compared with March 2023. They're down 17,000 from 20,400, and the market share has dropped from 7% to 5.4. Um, that's a 17% so decrease in sales. Uh, yeah, um, not sure to say about that, really. Uh, Genesis. Cars I really like, but nobody buys. 20% um, down. Um, 0 0.06 down to 0 0.04. Number of cars sold 176 to 141. Genesis have the most amazing ownership package. I mean, if I had unlimited money, I'd probably have one of their cars because of the ownership package and the performance and the handling and that sort of thing the equipment that you get for the money but no one listens to what i say anyway so never mind um aura or great world motors aura as in the funky cap it's now called the aura zero three um they've had a better month in march 2023 65 percent increase number of cars sold has gone from 188 to 310 and um yeah market share has gone from 0.07 to 0.1 honda very good, 66% up. Um, market has gone from 1.7 to 2.5. Number of cars sold has gone from 4,800 to 8,000. Very good. Not as good as Hyundai, though. Um, their figures remain remarkably consistent. Um, so it's only a 0.3% increase. So it's about 13,500 in both cases. Uh, market has decreased very slightly from 4.7 to 4.3 because of uh, the overall market, but that's good. Ineos, nothing to compare it against. Jaguar. Oh, a very, very good month for Jaguar. 142% up. Um, that is pretty crazy. Um, the market share has gone from 0.7 to 1.5, so it's more than doubled. And so has the number of cars sold. It's gone from 1,900 to 4,700. Jeep, um, not a brand I associate with massive sales, but they seem to be doing better. It's got to be the Jeep Avenger, surely this, um, the new model. 248% uh, increase. Number of cars sold has gone from... Uh, 462 to 1600 market share has gone from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 kgm who are actually sanyon let's just have a look and see oh yes actually they've had an increase uh, it was 257 um in march 2023 now as kgm which is the new name for sanyon it's gone up to 385 excellent that's that's very good uh kia um even better um, sort of challenging a lot of the most premium brands with their sales. So, um, minus 6% for some reason, um, even though they've had one of the top three best-selling cars this month. 
Um, so it's, it's gone from 6.9% of the market to 5.8. The number of cars sold is not very that much, 19,700 to 18,400. Land Rover, actually very good. Not as, Jaguar is probably not as good, but um, Land Rover do sell, yeah, they do sell more cars, just the increase isn't, it's dramatic. It's still an increase of about 10%. Um, so market share remains the same, about 39 The number of cars sold by has increased from 11,300 to 12,400. Lexus, 90% increase. I wonder why that is. Um, the new model has sort of come out that's based on the um, authority Yaris Cross. Maybe that's the thing that's done wonders first sales. I don't know. Uh, market share has gone up from 0 0.5 to 0 0.9. Number of cars sold has gone from um, 1450 to 2760, which is very good. Um, yeah, market share has gone from 0.5 to 0.9. Maserati, I don't think we're going to go into that. It's such a tiny thing. Maxxis is a really tiny thing. Mazda. Um, so, 7% down for some reason. I don't quite know why. Um, so, 5,000 down to 4,700. Market has dropped from 1.7 to 1.5. So, these bends, quite a big increase, actually. 20%. Um, um, market share has gone from 5.7 to 6.2. Number of cars sold has gone from 16,000. Um, 400 to 19,800. MG, not as big as an increase as I was expecting from them, actually, uh, considering their sort of inevitable rise, which seems to be happening all the time. Um, so we've gone from 12,200 cars sold to 12,900. My share's gone from 5.7 to, uh, sorry, 4.25 to 4.1, and that's a 5.7% increase. Many sort of decrease for some reason. I don't quite know why. Um, I thought the new modern world was out. I've, I've seen one of those like around, I think. Um, so who knows? 14% um, decrease. Um, market share has gone from 2.6 to 2. Um, and the number of cars sold has gone from 7,500 to 6,500. Nissan, a very good month for Nissan. Um, gosh, they've beaten quite a few manufacturers on this chart. I, um, I, I spoke too soon when I said about um, Audi and BMW beating most people, because Nissan have had a very good month, 21% increase, 5.9% um, to 6.5% um, of the market. Number of cars sold has gone from um, uh, 17,000 to 20,500, which is beaten by Volkswagen, but nevertheless, that's a very impressive. Uh, Peugeot, unlike Citroën, um, Citroën, 37% uh, increase, Market share has gone from 3 to 3.8 percent. Number of cars sold has gone from 8,700 to 12,000. Polestar, not surprising, not very good. Um, we won't go into reasons why at the moment, I'm sure you'll all be bored. Um, so, 50 percent down. Number of cars sold has gone from 1,600 to 800. And um, market share has gone from 0.5 to um, 0 0.25. Porsche, 50 percent down for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Um, so 15% uh, decrease, market share has gone from 1.3 to 1, um, and the uh, number of cars sold has gone from 3,700 to 3,100. Renault, very, very good month for Renault, 133% up. Is this due to the new Clio and the new Austral? I don't, I don't know, maybe somebody tell me in the comments below. Um, 1.3 to 2.8, number of cars sold 3... 4,000 to 8,800. Wow, that's that's very impressive, isn't it? I thought Renault were not a major player anymore. Clearly I'm wrong. There's a capture right next to me here. Um, Seat, again, a player that I didn't think was doing much, but they have increased by 24%. Number of cars sold has gone from 4,900 to 6,000. And um, the market share has gone from 1.7 to 1.9. Skoda, obviously, I sell more cars set doing this country. Um, a lot of cars, actually. 7,500, March 23, to last month, 10,000. Um, 33% increase. Market share has gone from 2.6 to 3.1%. Smart, an even bigger increase, um, 623%. Uh, didn't really have much going on before, so maybe this is, this is going to be the hashtag one, hasn't it? That's the only thing we've got on sale at the moment, as far as I remember, in this country. Um, 42 sales to 306, and um, market share's actually gone up by a factor of 10 from 0 0.01 to, uh, to 0 0.1. 
um, Subaru, um, they've sold more cars than KGM. They've had a very good month, actually. Um, 44% um, up. It's gone from 0.15 to 0.2% to market. And the number of cars sold has gone from 445 to 641. Suzuki, um, a good month for them as well. I don't quite know why. They make some good cars. I'm always happy with one Suzuki's generally. Um, apart from the fit and finish inside, which is a bit cheap. But it's still robust. Um 15% increase, um, 1.5 is going to 1.6% of the market. The number of cars sold has gone from uh, 4,400 to 5,000. Tesla, not the sort of world beating figures you'd quite imagine. They seem to have sort of slowed their imports a little bit and they're not coming in as infrequently as they did. 33% um, decrease, market share has gone from 3.7 to 2.2. Number of cars sold has gone from 10,500 to 7,000. Toyota, very good month for Toyota actually. Um, still it's down a little bit, down 12% uh, um, and then sales have gone from 19,300 to 16,900 and um, the uh, market share is 6.7 down to 5.3. Vauxhall, not bad, um, 12,000 up to 15,500. Um, and 29% uh, increase, and the market share has gone from 4.2 to 4.9. Um, Volkswagen, the best of all, um, unsurprisingly, because they normally are in this country now. 29% um, increase, no, sorry, sorry, 1.8% increase, so a very slight decrease in market share, but an increase in registrations. Um, 22,000 up to 22,100 uh, market shares now 7% it was 7.6 Volvo um, sitting in a Volvo today 33% uh, increase um, that's probably the new X30 isn't it um, market shares gone from 2 to 2.4 number of cars sold has gone from 5,700 to 7,500 um, and the total is 10.4% up um, 286 8,000 versus 318,000. That's it then. So thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching, particularly those of you who like watching every month, which I much appreciate. Um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment below, and uh, we shall see you again next month for some, I don't know, um, not particularly consequential rambling. <laughs>